guys, it's Yo Bud Man here, back with another video, and today, for the second part of the Crash Bandicoot and Insane, uh, let's play, we're gonna start off by doing the level boulders, so, um, yeah, let's head into it. So the hint is to break all the boxes in a, in a level to earn the clear gem, like we didn't know that already, but, uh, okay. So yeah, in this level we can actually do that. Uh, the last two levels, um, we needed to unlock some stuff to get the, all the crates, so we couldn't get them just yet. We have to come back to them. Alright, so here is boulders. Basically, what you have to do in this level is just run away from them as fast as you can. These, like, uh, chase levels are a very traditional type of level in the Crash Bandicoot, uh, series. Like, if you watched the Crash Bandicoot Warped Let's Play, you would have seen that in the medieval levels. I had to run away from a dragon. And yeah, this is the very first uh, chase level with boulders. Just something simple. Alright, so we got platforms now. In my opinion, I like these levels a lot because they're kind of short. And, but also very intense. Alright, so let's go through here. On this platform, good. Okay. Oh, yes, we got the gem, guys. Alright. Okay, so we now have two gems. So, uh... Yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's really good. Well, not really good, but better than one gem. Alright, so that was a very short level, so up next we have Upstream. Let's see our hint. Sometimes it gives us the same hint. Collect three face tokens to unlock a bonus round. Alright, so yeah, you guys saw that from the first part, where I collected those three faces and I got to go in the bonus round. Alright, so here is Upstream. We have a new type of level env level environment. Uh, do these sink? Okay, no. We got basically a creep level. Alright, so there's one of the tokens. Okay. Oh, whoa. Sometimes not using the D-pad can be a struggle because, uh... You can accidentally shift it to one side when you don't want to. Alright, so let's go up here. Checkpoint. Alright. There we go, we got a life. Awesome. Ooh, okay, so the red plants will snap you if you go into them. So we gotta make a quick move whenever we see them. Alright. The other thing about this Crash game that I like is that uh, the level actually takes on the environment around it, like the environment in the hub area. Like there was actually a a creek underneath the level's warp pad. Oh, I think we need a gem, a colored gem for this one too to get the to get all the crates. Which I guess we can still do the bonus. It'd be a big waste of time, but I guess I'll show you anyways. I think, um, I'm not too sure about this, but I think in the, uh, original Crash Bandicoot, you didn't have to get all the crates in the bonus round to get the, uh, clear gem. But in this one you do, because you have the ability to retry. In Crash Bandicoot, if you failed, then you never get to go in the bonus level ever again. Alright. Well, unless you replay the level, of course. It's not like they're restricting you from ever going back. Alright, so... Let's go here. Jump on that one. Also, you guys seem to like the PS... How I, uh... Okay. How the PS4 gameplay looks. It seems good, just like all my other consoles. The Wii U, the PC, the PS2. Alright, as you can see, we, we missed three boxes there, so we'll have to come back. Alright guys, so now we are going to be facing the first boss of the game. 
His name is Papu Papu. Let's see. How should we defeat him? It gives us a hint. Okay, body blows don't hurt him. That means we can't spin him. So let's see. Alright, so there he is. He's the leader of the tribes folk. So he's gonna wake up from his throne. Notice as we're there. Alright. Now here's how we beat him. He's gonna swing that thing around. Ha, huh, look when he turns around. Oh. And then we jump on him. In this game, he's got five health points and not three. I guess they decided he was too easy. Now you actually don't have to wait for him to to uh, make the to smack the thing to smack his club on you. You can just jump on him whenever. But for an extra cha extra challenge, I'm going to do it the fair way. Oh, okay. All right, one health left. Look, you see the butt crack. <laughs> I always loved that about Papu Papu. In every game. Alright. Oh, we beat him. Alright, so now we're going to uh, jump out of here. And uh, yeah. Unlike all the other Crash games in the future, this one was a little less organized, so... Just because we beat a boss doesn't mean that's the end of this island. There can be multiple bosses on this island, there can be just one, there can be just this one, and then more levels, like in this island's case. Alright, so we have time for this level. Oh, let me show you this. In the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, you can play as Coco Bandicoot in all the games. Alright, so now let's do a level with her. Of course, I prefer Crash because he was, you know, the original. Alright, unlock a new path by earning the blue gem elsewhere, okay. So now we know we have to get the blue gem for this one. Which also means we can't get a gem. Wow. Alright, so we got the, the typical level environment. Here we got those rolling stones. As I was saying before, uh, you never know what's on one of these islands. There could be one boss, two bosses, three bosses, and they don't even have to be at the end of the island. And of course, there's different amount of levels. And oh, okay. Um, I'll talk about those later. But uh, yeah, you never know how many levels will be on an island. All right, so checkpoint. And also, bosses don't mean the end of an island, so keep that in mind. I think I said that, like, about two times now. But, uh, what you just saw, that was Embryo, one of the, one of the, uh, bad people, the bad guys. Uh, and, oh, wow. We tried to get his second token, but we failed. And what those do is, they give you access to an extra special bonus round, which you still need to get the gem. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot harder to get his tokens. I think because in the original game, the prizes were better. But, of course, in the original game, you didn't need that to, uh, to get the gem. Or maybe you did. I don't know. You, you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So, I don't know where the third Rio head is. It might be here? No. Alright. Maybe here, or maybe we need the blue gem to get to it. Oopsies. Alright. Didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, I think it might be up here. Nope. As you guys can see, Coco is exactly the same as Crash. Same mechanics. Alright, so here's the Tana bonus round. We can head in there. Alright, 21 crates. Let's balance on all these. Oh. Alright. Oh, we got a good streak going there. 
Let's see, two, three, four, five. You need to bounce on those crates five times for them to break. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yay, we broke all the boxes without touching the ground. Congrats to us. All right, let's uh, head on. All right, we're gonna go this way. Actually, there's really only one way to go. All right, so there's the blue gem path. I think it leads underground, actually. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, so we can unlock the Brio path. All right, so here's the Brio bonus. You can see how different it is. It's a lot harder. We gotta jump on all these TNT. And we get some lives. See, that's what I meant about better prizes. All right. We're gonna jump here now. Whoa. All right, so 17 crates. Not that that mattered because we're not getting no gem. Okay. We'll go here, and here, and here. Get these ones, and exit the level. And uh, yeah, we missed six boxes from not having the blue gem. All right guys, so that'll be it for this part of Crash Bandicoot of the Insane Trilogy. And uh, it wasn't much, much more productive from last part. We still only got one gem. Well, we did beat a boss, so that's one thing. Uh, next time we'll be entering Hogwild, as you can see there. I know you can get the gem in the first time in that level. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play part. I hope you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.